Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and I'm gonna do a quick, quick, quick video. We have a bunch of sewing machines that's going to a customer. So um, this is a US blind stitch. This is one of the, uh, the brand is the brand. I mean like any tailor shop, any, any dry cleaner that you go, US blind stitch is one of the original uh, blind stitch. I mean, the brand that made the blind stitch is US blind stitch. And then they're of course originally made in USA. That's why it's US blind stitch. But um, I think maybe 25, 30 years ago, they went out of business, but now somebody bought back the name and they're back in business. Obviously they're not made in USA. Uh, it's a US technology could be that a lot of parts that are still that they have is from those old times that they're putting them together, but they're, it, they're not refurbished or anything. The brand new original made. So Conso company bought the US blind stitch and this is the original US blind stitch. So any other blind stitch that you see in the market is copy of this machine. And one of the greatest machines that ever, I mean, existed for, uh, so here, what, what does this machine do? This machine that anything that you wanna do hem, see, the blind stitch, like bottom of the shirt, bottom of the jacket, bottom of the pants, bottom of the skirt, this is it. So uh, this machine, is, I'm not gonna go over the table, I'm not gonna go over the legs, but um, you already have seen so many uh, um, videos regarding the table, but this is on a servo motor, regular servo motor, Pretty much, you see the wing count back and forth. You have the, this is a knee lifter, which is not a foot lifter. It, look at this, it um, adjusts the arm of the uh, blind stitch machine. And you see, I'm not gonna, this is going to a customer. I'm gonna do a real, real slow motion for you guys. So it's pretty much one thread and you have a looper here. And you see how quiet, I'm gonna go over this and I hope you guys could see. And this is the end result. This is the front that you see we saw, and this is the end result in the back. There is not enough light. Let me put some light. So this is the bottom. Now, uh, there is step one and step two. Let me show you here. This is more or less, if you want, if you have a thinner material that you want it to come higher. So the needle would grab it. If you show it here, the needle is going to go through the thread, the fabric. But if you want the fabric to be higher, but if the thread, the fabric is not that thick, you want to adjust to more. We adjust, we turn this more so the fabric would come up. If your fabric is too thick, you really don't need so much raise, you do less. Now there is one by one step and two one by step. Now I did one by one, but I'm gonna show you guys a two by one step. Let me show you, You all you have to do is, and I'm not a good sewer, but my mom would be proud of me if she saw me doing this because she sews. So, did it come out? No. It's okay. See, I'm gonna do it slow. And I'm gonna tell you what is the difference between two. I'm gonna go to the edges. Okay. All right. Now, this is two by one, a stitching front, and look at the back. See, like missing each, like, but this one is one by one, meaning which every stitch on top, there's the loop. So this one, is one loop. This is two loops. Okay, that's how it is. Very nice. The great, great sewing machine on our website, model 1118-4, this is the most common uh, uh, model that there is, US blind stitch. Uh, go to our website, you could take a look at it. We could, this could also be automized, like 
um, electric um, uh, food lift and knee lift and all that stuff. Uh, thank you for watching. This is David from goldstartool.com. Go on our website, see what we have, buy one of these. Every household needs one of these things. I mean, how much you gonna pay for uh, hemming your pants? You buy a $20 pants and they're gonna charge you 50 bucks to hem a pants, really. Buy one of these. Thank you for watching.